We owe you for YouTube. Not a problem. Okay, hey, I'm Vince Easley from What Matters Worldwide. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Uh, UCY.TV. Can you tell, uh, are you filming too? No, Let's I'm do it filming. together. I'm just going to take a photograph right now. Okay. Um, can you tell us uh, who you are and, and why you're here? Yeah, my name is Robert. I'm just here because uh, I was here from the beginning. Vegas came down uh, to help the Bundys get their cattle back, and since we did that, we're still here to support till this is over. Just letting know uh, tyrant politicians and uh, motives that it won't be tolerated anymore. You know, everybody's sick, sick and tired of the attack on Second Amendment. We're talking about cattle. We're talking about First Amendment rights. I understand everybody's not in an uproar over First Amendment rights when the government tries to corral us in a First Amendment zone. It makes me get my First Amendment zone keeper out, and we come here with the people that we had to death. You can help with this? Yes, sir. I'm blind. Absolutely. Thank you so much. But um, that's what we're doing. Everybody doesn't have any idea what's going on here in the country. Not letting the country know what's going on. You know, only... I'm here. I'm streaming live, and people are watching. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's exactly uh, Kim Bear streaming live. Check her out. Find her. Do a search engine on her. You know, thank God for uh, the real media like you guys um, who's putting the word out because the mainstream propaganda lot, big business uh, media is only going to put missing airplanes and talk about murder trials in Australia over some guy who, you know, so who cares about that? Are you still talking about airplanes? Nonstop. The, the Communist News Network is just still going over and over with that. Um, Fox, Fox does mention it, but they're actually talking about this incident, you know, and, and yeah, Fox is talking about. Yeah, they're, they're talking they about, and, and you know, that's the channel that's really. They were doing a great job covering it, but then when we went. Through, you think that they had out uh, in in behind the SWAT team waiting? Because I counted about, like, I thought about 100 cars. Somebody told me 85. Not 85. 85 cars. So, but they but, had, Metro had their, their response team down here about two miles. So they had about 40, 50 other armed men ready to go with armored vehicles down that way. So there were more than one individual per car. So could you, what, low end 100 agents, uh, high end 300 agents? Between that range. Uh -huh. and not only what was spread along the highway. So we had we had agents and, and metro police departments down that way. And they didn't seem like they were too enthused about the situation. You know, kudos to the metro, a lot of the officers. There were some officers with us, no names being mentioned, that were carrying weapons with us. So kudos to the, there are open Uh, we were here the first three days, then we went home and uh, been stand on standby for the contingent that still is around the mountains. So there's different locations, different militias camped out on standby. So a lot of my friends when I was coming here uh, were saying, like, I come from, like, Dawson's Island, okay. and a lot, of my, a lot of my friends from Dawson's Island are supporting what's going on here. But then there's a lot of people who are, like, here arguing and Like, Texas, bitches, homophobic. And how would you, like, respond to 
Yeah, um, embarrassed. Funny about that. Um, you see a lot of family members. You see women here that were standing right next to us. I, we saw, women, women. I saw women in militia members I on did, horses here. I was in the back of a truck with the woman who was here holding an AR-15. We don't care. I don't care if you're gay. I don't care if you're wearing wear rainbow fatigues. <laughs> Where can I get some of them? <laughs> we don't care about that. We're Americans, and we do. We're protecting those freedoms. If they came against a anti-feminist movement or a gay movement and restricted their rights, we'd be here just like if they're ranchers or not. That's what really got us mad is when we saw the overstepping. And, you know, I think it's, it's, it's waking up a lot of people because it's not just this incident. It's, it's, there's a lot of times that we should have reacted that we didn't. But like you said, there's always a breaking point. There's always a breaking point. And uh, I think this was ours, you know, for this area. It was our breaking point. But, you know, it's making people aware. You know, I don't care if it's another movement. Or it doesn't have to be over cattle. It could be over gay rights. I don't care what it is. We'll still be there. And that's just what we're talking about. Because it took an incident like this for a bunch of us to get together and, and really discuss what we're going to start protecting. And that's great. That's awesome. Let, let, let me ask you uh, your background. What uh, what brought you to being where you are right now? Um, I served in the United States Marine Corps, uh, 92 to 96. And then uh, after I got out, you know, I have friends, uh, a couple of guys back in the patrols back here. They just got out. So there's a couple of active duty ones that are still serving to leave to be here. Um, so it's, it's really taking an oath and, and understanding serving in the government, seeing how everything's being deteriorated. Second Amendment, Fourth Amendment, you know, right to search and seizure. All these drones, all the NSA spying. We did lose our rights. So somewhere, somehow, we got to wake up and start to stop things. What's going on with these political? Uh, there we go. So we have to. Pause for a second. I want you to see the YouTube. Welcome, California. Okay, that's why I wore this hat. I want my picture too. Okay. Come on. Yeah. Okay. Hey, guys, I'm going to close with saying, uh, yeah, I, I think it's very important that uh, we not draw lines in the sand between our brothers and uh, in law enforcement, uh, peace officers, uh, our men and women in, in the military. We need to stand together. Yeah. Last thing we want is, is for bloodshed. We're not anti-government. We need government. We want government. So I disagree. Uh, it is not, but I'll hold it. But, so we can, um, I'll get it in the trash. Right can you stand on one hand? I mean, what's that? And, uh, what are you doing? We, we want government. There needs to be government to an extent. Maybe, yeah. But that's why we have local government, state government. There you go. Because they know what's going on. Yeah. When you get the federal government overstepping their boundaries, that's when... Uh, the militias have to come out, and that's when the government, that's when people like Sandoval need to stand up, and the sheriff need to stand up. Um, and when they're not doing their job, they got to go. Absolutely. Wait. Here, hold, do me real quick. It's just, we'll just run it into the, the video. Thanks. I can't see through you. Oh, am I taking your picture? Yeah, it's running. Okay. Oh, this is a video. Okay, I can see it now. Hey, now. All right. All right, I'm going to give you my camera. Yeah. Let me stop mine. Can I take a picture of this? Yeah, absolutely. Okay.